Hi peeps, it's Joanna. I am checking in this week. Um, I actually haven't done a video in, in a little while. Thought I'd give you some updates about my super exciting fibro week that I've had slash chronic fatigue week. So last Saturday, my husband and I, we went to one of um, the only bakeries I can eat because it's gluten free. Well, I happened to indulge a little bit too much. <laughs> Um, and I made myself sick. So, yeah. Like, Saturday, I got really tired. And I was, like, having hot flashes and w weird stuff. And um, and Sunday was really bad. I just slept all day. You know, actually, we got into a fight. Because um, if, if I have too much, quote, unquote, junk food or sugar or something that doesn't agree with me, sometimes I can, I get, not necessarily mean, but, like, super irritable. And I can just, like feel it kind of in my body kind of like like a volcano ready to erupt anyway so we got into an argument and I went to bed and I slept till well I slept for the most part from Saturday night I was up for a little bit Sunday morning and then slept till Monday morning and then I woke up Monday morning and I was good to go all of the stuff that I had eaten was out of my system so then on Tuesday, I had two more cupcakes, one in the morning and then one in the afternoon, evening, afternoon, evening type deal for his birthday. And I didn't have a reaction. So just don't overdo it with your food. <laughs> if there's something that you like, but you don't have very often, um, I no, it's a toss up. There's some potato starch in this stuff, but I can still eat it. You know, it doesn't make me sick sick unless I really overdo it. So, but I like sugar a lot and I usually avoid it, especially over the past couple of years. And when I get my hands on it, it's a problem. So then Wednesday night, I don't know what happened. Well, my hip has been bothering me a lot. I'm going to go to the chiropractor later today and have him put my SI back in. I've been doing lots of exercises where, you know, you're supposed to strengthen your SI joint and it'll help put it back in. And I don't think it's working. I've had to take some tramadol, muscle relaxers, um, been doing like CBD oil on it and um, massage and stuff. And it's just not cutting it. One night I was, uh, Tuesday actually, I was up at like 3 a.m. and I was up all day and then I slept good. Wednesday, but Wednesday night I went to bed like, I don't know, 10 o'clock or something and slept almost all day Thursday and today's Friday. So I just got up a little bit ago, probably about like 930 this morning. So that's a very long time. It wasn't food related. I don't know if it was just like a mini flare, but for the most part, I feel like I've been doing way better. Like my pain is, I would say, halved compared to what it was. <clears throat> um, even though I still have my SI joint issues going on, um, but hopefully, you know, I think hopefully that'll be taken care of soon, someday. Um, I don't feel like it is um, a fibro um, condition. I was having some problems with it before. It just kind of basically feels like I constantly have a pulled muscle. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, but that was my week. You know, I still have couple of flare-ups. I'm still doing the protocol. So in general, things are way better. But, you know, I woke up this morning, you know, and my husband's still working from home. And, um, you know, he, he works downstairs. I slept on the couch all night because my, you know, my SI joint hurts and sometimes that helps. And I slept pretty good for the most part. But he just kind of lets me sleep and I got up and, you know, decided to finally bathe I didn't do it yesterday and brush my teeth because I didn't do it yesterday and I know that I'm not the only one out there that when you have a flare when you're super exhausted that you know it doesn't happen and you know what that's okay if you have to sleep you sleep you take care of you you are the number one priority I have learned in life basically for the most part that if you don't take care of you nobody else will except for my loving husband Matt he takes very good care of me I tell them all the time, thank you for loving me, even though I don't deserve it. So I just want to let you know that you're not alone. You know, things can come up and you're, 
take care of you, get some sleep, get some rest. Don't overdo it. And I will talk to you later, peeps.